Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know right now, I will definitely do my best to see who you're connecting to this week and what your story could be with this person. Just please keep an open mind, Aquarius. I do get very nosy in my readings. I don't sugarcoat my messages and I don't hold back. So if you hear a message that does not resonate with you, does not sound like your situation, just let the message go. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you are always in full control of your choices. So with that preamble out of the way, I'm going to get nosy. Let's do it. All right, please tap into the energy of Aquarius today. Eight card spread, two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful aqua babies. All right, so the person coming towards you this week, what are their feelings? We have the two of cups. This is water energy showing up. Make sure you can see the art details. This person's intentions this week. We have temperance, major arcana for Sagittarius their behavior and actions this week the six of cups this is water energy someone's coming towards you very sweet i like their energy someone's coming towards you very sincere aquarius i just need to do more digging to see what type of connection you guys have with this person how do you feel about them we have the page of swords that's your air energy showing up come on camera why is my camera being such a jerk come on there we go. All right. What's the potential challenge Aquarius may be encountering this week with this person? The Knight of Cups. You don't trust their love for you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, for some of you Aquarians, you don't trust this person's love offer or how they're showing up for you or how they're expressing themselves. It's like you feel like you need more information. Someone's expressing their feelings to you this week or already had or about to. And it's like you feel like you need more information before you can let your guard down. Whether this is someone that you've been, you know, trying to get things off the ground with and you're curious about why now or the, the way it's being presented might leave you feeling like you need more information. Okay. But I am definitely getting that you are keeping your eyes peeled and your ears open. Your crown chakra is definitely open to, to receiving any ideas or messages this week that could help ease your mind in some regard. Your potential weekly outcome, the star, Aquarius energy. You're about to have a very good week. Um, whether it's influenced by this person or not, this is a really good outcome for you. You're getting something you want here. Your advice, ace of wands. Beautiful. And the overall energy that's influencing you this week? We have the Empress, major arcana for Taurus, but also Venus and Libra. So Aquarius, there's something being given to you around this time frame, and it's got a lot of potential for growth. And it might be in its early stages. If you look at this woman's baby bump, it looks like it's still in that early stages where it's still developing, still, still growing, and you know things are still kind of like piecing all together before it can be birthed to you, this opportunity. Um, and you're in this early stage right here with the Page of Swords because the Page of Swords is underdeveloped information. You have not mastered your knowledge in some aspect is what I'm getting. If, if you did, you would have came in as the King of Swords, which is telling me that you're still trying to figure something out in regards to your love life or a particular person. You have not yet mastered what you need to know about a situation, but there's potential here for something to grow for you. All right, it's a very fertile time for you to start new opportunities, new relationships, new businesses, new um, projects. It's a very fertile time for you. All right, and then I see the Six of Wands and I see the Three of Cups. You've got a lot of good energy around you this week, Aquarius. It feels like people are celebrating you, whether you just got a job promotion and you're getting a lot of attention this week, or um, you got a friend that has a birthday this week and you're getting a lot of attention too, not just a friend. There's something where you're being celebrated. 
all right? And I got the star as your outcome. I know this is a love reading, I get it, I know it, but I gotta take all the messages that come out. We'll get to your person in a second. But for the Aquarians that are watching me right now, there's more going on than just your love life, I'll tell you that much, and it feels really good. It's feeling like you're, you're gaining some sort of wish, like something you've been wanting for yourself is finally here. You wanted it, and now it's here, okay? This is bigger than just the love reading. But I'm gonna get back into the love reading. I will, but I can't promise that I'm not gonna jump back to uh, these other messages, okay? Just take what resonates. So as for your love situation, you've got someone coming towards you this week that feels something special. All right, whenever the Two of Cups shows up, it tells me that it's a mutual feeling. So whatever they feel for you, you feel the same way. It's just in the same way, if it was in reverse, if you hated this person, well, they hate you too. You know, with the Two of Cups in the upright, it feels like you both have this loving connection. And based off of the Six of Cups, as this person's behavior towards you, it looks like um, it looks it looks like you do have a very special bond with somebody this week. I just need to figure out more about you guys' history together, or if this is someone new in your life. But you guys are embracing each other right here. This looks very cozy. It looks like this person's wanting to pull you in. But I need to know why the Knight of Cups is in the challenge position because there's something that you may not be trusting. All right, whether this person said, I love you way too soon, maybe it's only been like a third date and you're like, whoa, you already telling me you love me? Um, or this is someone that you've been on again, off again with, and you're like, why, why now? Why are you telling me you have feelings for me now? Where was it a couple times ago? You know, you're not trusting something. But with this person's intentions being temperance, it feels like they intend to work together with you, to compromise with you, or to heal something if there is something that needs to heal. Clarify the Two of Cups as this person's feelings. Then I open up to the Empress again with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like this person feels like you are a very wonderful person, you're very kind, you're very nurturing, and you've given a lot to them where they want to give back to you as well with that Six of Pentacles. Okay, there's something going on here. Someone also may be getting a new cat. Anyway, why the Two of Cups? 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 Venus and Cancer energy. Cancer season might be playing a part because I get a lot of Cancerian influence here. The Five of Pentacles. For, for some of you, you do have someone that's like, hey, can I come back into your life? You know, like maybe th this person like disappointed you recently and you had to like block their number or tell them to go away. Now they're outside of your door, metaphorically speaking, um, or maybe they are outside of your door looking at you and thinking, can I please come home? Can I please come out from outside of the cold? I don't like the cold shoulder. I want you to let me in. I love you. Something like that. That's not for all of you. But for others, let's get more on how this person feels. Actually, I'm going to use a different set of cards one second. For the majority that are not dealing with someone that you've left out in the cold, let's get some feelings. But I'm definitely getting an Aquarius that's suspicious about something. Clarify. The Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. You guys, I try to give a different perspective on things, but it looks like the majority of you are dealing with someone that you may have considered giving the, the boot, giving the old boot outside um, for the Five of Pentacles to come out again. The Three of Wands showing up is telling me that this person's waiting to be removed from the, the cold and brought back into warmth, okay? And to return to the connection and to heal the situation. But maybe for some of you, the reason why the Knight of Cups is in the challenge position is because you're like, oops, I already met someone new, you know, and now you have a choice to make between two people. One that is here now and one that you've had to maybe release a little while ago. That could be what I'm getting for some of you as well. All right, you might have now a choice to make. Someone is watching you move on and they're like, wait a minute, before you actually get married to this person or have a family with this person or forget me, can I come back out from the cold? That could be for some of you. So let me get your feelings and maybe you'll give me more insight on what's going on. All I know is you're getting something you want this week, okay? 
So if love is just something that you feel like is just too complicated right now to deal with with this person, there is something making you happy. Why well, the Page of Swords for how Aquarius feels? The Eight of Swords. You're really in your head about this person, Aquarius. And Eight of Swords plus Page of Swords equals the Nine of Swords. For some reason, you feel like when this person expresses their feelings for you or reaches out to you or is around you, there's this anxiety you get and you're just trying to figure out why, okay? In this art depiction, you look relaxed with each other. You guys look comfy, cozy, which kind of tells me that maybe there's a conversation that you guys may have that, you know, reduces your fears a little bit makes you feel a little bit more calmer. And that could be why the temperance card is here because temperance is another word for calm. You know? Someone calms you down a little bit. So maybe all this stress and worry has nothing to do with this person, but maybe you're stressing out about maybe a job opportunity or something that you really, really want and this person calms you down. All right? Because... And then there's the King of Swords. And then I got the Fool. So you're really feeling confused about whether or not you have all the information you need in order to feel like you've mastered something with the King of Swords here. Remember I said earlier, to really fully feel like you've mastered um, a situation where you have all the answers, you would come up as the King of Swords, but you're here as the Page of Swords. So it looks like once you get more information this week, you're going to feel like you're in more control of something. But you may be needing to be a fly on the wall in some regard aka watching tarot readings, looking at social media, you know, listen to your internal guidance, right? Who else got this? I think it was Capricorn. I think Capricorn had this in their feelings position. I don't know if you guys are cuspers or dealing with a Cappy, but you've got some sort of new beginning here for you, Aquarius, but until you get all the information surrounding it, this new beginning may seem a bit scary for you. Like you want to have all the answers right right away in order to feel comfortable that this new journey that you're entering is going to be everything that you want for yourself. You're entering some sort of new timeline, Aquarius. And it feels like your life will be very different once you step into it. And then there's the Empress again. All right, something is being given to you and it feels nice. Clarify the Temperance card. This is this person's intentions with you. Why temperance? Six of cups on the bottom. Why temperance? Why temperance? The number 14 could mean something to you. Why temperance? Three of cups. This person is coming towards you to either reunite with you or to celebrate with you. Um, I am strongly getting someone getting a job promotion or something. Or something else works out in your favor. And this person's like, hey, this is a perfect time for us to celebrate. All right, and if it's not including celebrating, the Three of Cups is like reminding yourselves of the friendship you guys have as well. All right, it's like whoever I'm tapping into, it's not just romance that you guys are dealing with with this person, but there's also a friendship at stake too which could tell me that you guys originally started off as friends or if you didn't start off as friends, the friendship that you forged together became almost more important than the romance aspect. For someone here, I feel like someone may have almost been friend zone because someone's like, oh man, I don't know. We, we seem to get along so well. Could, should, should we just be friends? I don't know. So let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups in the challenge position for Aquarius' love life this week? Maybe you want an emperor to this empress. Maybe you feel like someone's coming in too much like a knight and you're like, no man, I need, I need an emperor or someone of my you know, caliber. Why the Knight of Cups? The Empath card and then I see the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles and Judgment. That's a committed relationship. Someone's offering you a committed relationship. Hmm. And then I got the empath card. 
It's like someone's offering you a committed relationship with that king and queen of pentacles, but there's, there's something going on here where you're like, I don't know. Hmm, unless it's your person. Clarify that again for me, please. High Priestess. I hope this is making sense. I gotta stop saying that to myself, for real. The Nine of Wands. Now, when the Nine of Wands shows up in the challenge position, it kind of tells me that whoever I'm tapping into, whether you, the cross watcher, or whoever, um, they've gotten disappointed way too many times to get too excited just yet. It's like, I need to see the proof first before I can get excited. You know, it's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, there's something that's coming towards you that may, you, maybe you don't see just yet, but you want to actually see it in real time before you'll get excited. Like, if this person's promising you an exclusive relationship, you're like, prove it. Show up for me. Show up for me in a way that I can feel secure with you. And if this is um, someone expressing their feelings to you for the first time after maybe dating each other for a few weeks, few months, you're in this energy of, oh, you love me? Okay, show me. Don't just say the words. Show me in actions. You know, be there for me when I need you, not just when you need something. It's like, it's like I have an Aquarius that feels that people get the closest to you right when they need something from you. And not just with romantic love, but also family situations where you're like, man, me and this family member only seem to get close just when they're about to ask me for a favor. And then I don't hear from them ever again until they need something again. You know, it's, it's like you feel like connections seem to be more transactional for you. And now you just don't trust easily where you feel like you need all this information before you can stand up and be like, all right, this is mine. All right. Um, clarify the Six of Cups. There's someone here showing you support. For some of you, you might have another energy around you. I just feel the presence of another energy, but I can't confirm it yet. Clarify the Six of Cups. The Nine of Swords. So I feel like the Nine of Swords to the Six of Cups feels like someone is trying to comfort another who's dealing with some anxiety and worries, all right? So if this person sees that you're stressing about something, it looks like they want to comfort you. This feels like someone that you have actively in your life right now, Aquarius. It doesn't feel like this is someone that you haven't heard from in several months. This feels like someone that is in your day-to-day -day life. And if you did remove them from your life or you're giving them the cold shoulder, they're like, Aquarius, please, can I come, can I come towards you? Because that could be what I'm getting. Like, if this is someone that you actually live with, maybe you're just giving them the cold shoulder this week, you know, making them sleep on the other guest bed or something like that. Um, the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, the Magician. So you're manifesting something higher level, Aquarius, is what I'm getting. Your weekly outcome is the star. And then I'll get another card on this person's feelings for you. Clarify the star. I mean, that's your major arcana. To end your week on your major arcana tells me that something is going to be working out for you. Just keep the faith. Seven of Pentacles, something is growing. You might not see it yet, but it's growing. And when it's time to harvest, you'll know it. Okay. Um, yeah, look at that. Something is getting um, prepared for you. It's just not ready to harvest yet. And maybe the waiting is stressing you out. All right, especially if you like, you got some word on the street that you're gonna get a promotion at work or you're about to get a boost in sales if you run your own business. It's like you're getting excited that you want it now and there's the Six of Pentacles. You're getting some sort of blessing. Um, but when it comes to your love life, it feels like someone's trying to stay in a really calm place with you with the Six of Swords and the Page of Cups showing up. Okay, and then I see the star. Aquarius, it feels like you got someone that adores the heck out of you and I feel like 
This person may be sensing that you may be feeling either suspicious of their love or you're going through something anxiety ridden right now, maybe unrelated to this person. But either way, I feel like this person is going to show that they really do care about you by being there for you when they can sense that you need them. Like if I have someone in my life that I care about and I can sense that they're, you know, in their head, looking anxious, looking, you know, some sort of way, I'd be like, hey, can, can I offer you anything? Can I be there for you? Do you want to just have a listening ear? Showing actions that I care, you know, that could be what this person is doing for you around this time frame. Um, can I get another card on this person's feelings for Aquarius? And then I'm going to pull on your advice, your overall energy, and then I'll get your person's hidden message for those who are not really in a secure place with somebody. Give me another card on how this person feels about Aquarius. Can I please get another card on how this person feels about Aquarius? The King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Five of Wands landed sideways. I do feel like someone's wanting to put in the work in regards to a disagreement you guys may have had or a roadblock you guys may have had or, you know, an argument you guys may have had. This person feels confident that, you know, just by putting in this effort, you're going to be happy. Okay. Someone is stepping up into like a king energy. Okay. Anything else? And then I see the Queen of Wands. Someone here feels very passionate about you. Give me more on their intentions, please. Two of Pentacles, which is clarifying the Temperance card, which is all about balance. And I got the World card and then the Six of Pentacles. I am getting where, for some of you Aquarians, you may have felt like this person was not sure about where they stood with you, went back and forth, or you went back and forth. Okay. It does feel like you and this person do have some talking to do in order to really be on the same page. But with this person's behavior being the Six of Cups, it does look like something brings back peace to your heart in regards to the situation. It's like whatever million questions that you may have for this person, it looks like they're willing and open to answer those questions and also offer up any that you didn't ask if they can pick up on it. Um, why the Ace of Wands as Aquarius' advice? The Four of Cups. They're, they're saying to not be so quick to take opportunities that feel a little bit, you know, too fast for you. Because they're showing me that there's something that is working out in your favor that takes a little bit more time. You know, kind of like not accepting like a get rich quick type of thing. Go for something that has more sustainable long term financial growth. That's just an example, but I am getting that there is something being offered to you that they feel like if it's coming in too quickly, um, it may be best to just not accept it. Okay. Like for example, if someone is coming towards you, love bombing you after the second date, hold back, hold back on that situation. But if someone's been in your life and it feels like it's the natural progress or process of you know, feelings developing, then you know, you know what you got to do. All right. I mean, there are exceptions. There are people that do have love at first sight. Um, so I got the Empress again and I got justice. So, oh, and the lover's card. So for some of you, whatever this opportunity is that's being given to you, there might be um, some karma, karma attached to it, or there's um, legal stuff involved, but it feels like, um, it feels like you're going to walk away this week feeling really happy about something. Like peace is restored for you. Because the star card also comes out after the tower. Indicating that there may have been a tower moment that came and gone. And left you in the state of the eight of swords. Left you in the state of the nine of wands. And that's why you may have felt anxious about something. But the, the star is here as a, you know, a sign that peace is being restored for you. Okay. And that you're going to be getting a lot of attention. I want more information off of this before we go. Okay. Because it feels like it's outside of your love connection. What is working out for Aquarius this week? What's, what's working out for them? The Ten of Freaking Pentacles. Aquarius, this is great. Um, and the Empress is back on the bottom. 
it, it's something that you really want for yourself. The Ten of Pentacles is one of those cards that scream abundance, getting everything that you're wanting and then some, or just feeling like you're in full control over your kingdom. Aquarius, this is fantastic. This feels like it's bigger than a love reading. It feels like, I don't know if you started your own business and now business is booming, um, or you relocated homes and you love where your new environment is and you're meeting new friends, or there's some sort of reason to celebrate and there's the sun, the knight of wands. You're manifesting something into your life. For some of you, there's also a family reunion, okay? So yeah, whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be different for every Aquarius out there, but whatever it is, you're going to know what it is. It's been something that you've been working towards. All right, whatever popped up in your head first is what I'm talking about. Um, for zodiac signs you could be connecting to in your love read, I've got strong water energy, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have strong Taurus energy here. I have Aries here, fellow Aquarius energy, um, Libra. That's the majority of the ones that wanted to come through, but it really could be any zodiac sign, okay? And don't forget, I did your um, October monthly too. It's in my October playlist. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every, every video, BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Baddison. Oh, and Sagittarius is here. Um, and every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs, Their Feelings for You reading, where I do the same spread, but I show my face and interact with you more live on camera so you can get to know me a little bit better than just seeing my hands. Um, I'll link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did, because that message is still good for the whole week so just click on that all signs reading if you want of course and then go and look for the Aquarius timestamp and you'll get another message in regards to your love life I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time for some of you that's what your concern was um, this person wasn't honest about their feelings at the time and now they're coming back changing changing it all up and now you're like well which one was real Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. All right, that's for you, Aqua Babies. I hope this helps. I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly um, reading. Until then, just take good care of yourself. I love you. Namaste.